Hypothermia is a very common condition which can have serious complications in newborns. This lecture is meant for nurses working in level 1 and level 2 NICUs and postnatal ward. Axillary temperature less than 36.5 is called hypothermia and uh, less than 32 degrees is severe hypothermia which requires critical care in the NICU. Babies lose more temperature easily than adults because of their larger surface area and also lack of brown fat which is the energy source. Heat exchanges from higher to lower. That means if the baby's temperature is 37 degrees and the surface nearby is 37, there is no loss of heat. However, if the nearby surface is 25 degrees, as the baby's temperature is higher, the heat loss happens from the baby to the nearby surface. If it is 18 degrees, it's much lesser temperature, hence the heat loss happens very quickly and babies develop hypothermia very quickly. If the nearby surface temperature is higher, the heat loss happens from that surface to the baby, hence baby becomes very hot. For the heat to travel, there must be a medium like solids which are hands, towels and beds or water like amniotic fluid or urine or air like AC, fan or ventilator gases. Heat exchange mechanisms are four types when the baby's contact that is conduction heat loss happens or from the AC, the air when it flows, convection heat loss happens or when the baby is near a cold surface, radiation heat loss happens or when the baby is wet, the evaporation heat loss happens. How do you manage hypothermia is the approach ACT act. That's air surroundings, you maintain the surrounding temperature between 25 to 28 degrees centigrade and switch off the fans or ACs or close the windows. See that's the contact surfaces, ensure that the wet towel is not there and use a dry pre-warmed towels or surfaces. Also don't keep the baby near a cold wall or uh, metals where the radiation heat loss happens. Also the baby needs a temperature source so either mother's skin that's a KMC can help the, keep the baby warm or use a warmer with heater on. Additional supportive measures might be needed in severe hypothermia where respiratory support with oxygen or bolus and IV fluids might be required or use the mother's milk or 10% extrose depending on the glucose. If you have any queries, you contact the number or the email as given there. Thank you.